In Warframe, when you start out and you select your characters and you go through the prologue, there are a lot of things that are just really thrown at you that you don't know what to do. Now obviously you have to get through the quest to start off with, and once you're done with that, they really just throw you in and they put you on this planet and just tell you to go really. So what I'm here to do is try to help you with that and try to figure out where you have to go after you're done with that prologue and after you're done with that mission in order to then unlock all these planets that you see right now and unlock all the quests as well. Now if you don't know Warframe, Warframe is heavily focused on quests to really get you through the game and to unlock certain things and really to expand on the lore and story. And if you don't know there is a huge lore behind this game that I will somewhat dive into. I am not obviously the fully knowledge on all the lore but I do like what I've seen and I've heard and what I can understand so far it is very interesting and it's something that is very unique to this game which a lot of people don't really seem to get out of this game it's not just a farming game to try to upgrade it, it really is based on story and the story is really good uh, from what I can recall from it and what I've played through now the, the first planet you're gonna have unlocked is obviously earth now I believe they have you do the Venus Junction right away. And then once you do that, you'll go to Venus and you have to do Mercury Junctions. Basically what you have to do, your goals really, are to get these junctions completed in order to unlock all of these planets and quests. Now let's say you get the Venus Junction, there are no quests in that. Uh, the Taxon right there that you see, the Taxon Blueprint, that is a great thing to have. It's going to be very useful, I recommend getting it. Even though you're not going to really notice it's there, it is actually very useful. I can show you the one I have, I do not have the Taxon equipped really. Well, I don't have any equipped but the one I use is Helios Prime I did get rid of Taxon however it does really the same thing and it's really nice to have that equipped whether that is the Taxon or anything else that you could possibly have now I mean obviously starting off you're gonna have plain weapons they're not upgraded at all so going through all of these missions the path to go to Mars or the path to go to Venus uh, could be somewhat challenging however these are low level for a reason so once you get over to the Venus Junction, you complete that, you'll go to Venus, you go to Mercury. Those things, those planets here, these aren't uh, so fantastic, and we will focus on Venus here in a second, but if you do go uh, and hit the Mercury Junction, the only thing good about this is the Once Awake quest. You can't do the Howl of Q uh, Kubro, not really needed, but the Once Awake quest is something that you really, really need to do because it really starts off your journey uh, on quest and story lore that you will need in the, in the future once you uh, have to unlock these other and larger quests in the game. Now there's nothing special on this planet. Obviously you assassinate Vor, but he doesn't really give you a frame, so we don't have to focus on that. We can go back to Venus. And the main thing you're going to look at here is Fortuna and Cetus is what you're going to unlock later on with quests, so you don't have to focus on that. Once you get here to Earth, you're going to want to go through E-Gate, Unda, I believe, Killigan, Aphrodite, and then Fossa. And then once you're here, you're going to have this assassination mission with Jackal. Now I'm just going to show you here in a few how to defeat this assassination mission and how to eventually get get a new frame. Okay, now this is the jackal. All you have to do is you have to have to shoot the legs. Uh, and then once you shoot the, the legs, it's going to do this little, like, defense mechanism, I guess. Obviously, don't get hit by the red laser. <laughs> That's the really the thing you're going to have to focus on and just move with it. Do dashes, and then it's going to be done. Do a shockwave, knock you back. Annoying. Then you go over here, and then use your pairs on that. If you haven't changed any of your settings, it should be X to use it. Then you're gonna have to do this three more times uh, until you officially defeat it. Finish it off. All right, and then once you finish this, you're gonna head to the ex extraction point. And once you're gonna see Rhino Systems, Rhino Chassis, or Rhino Neuropics, depending on what you get from this. You're going to have to do that mission a few times in order to get all three parts for Rhino. Like I just mentioned, you're going to have to need the systems, chassis, and neuroptics. And once you acquire all those blueprints, you're going to go to the Warframe section in the market, and then you're going to go scroll down until you find Rhino. And once you see Rhino, you're going to go and get the blueprint for him. It's 35,000 credits. Once you acquire that, you're going to go back to your foundry. And when you go in here, you're going to see the parts. So if you type in Rhino here, we see Rhino systems and build. 
Now, a lot of people don't understand that, and I didn't understand it when I first started the game a while back. I didn't. I had no idea what I was doing with these blueprints. I didn't know what it meant. I didn't know what I had to do with it. Now, what you have to do with these blueprints is once you get all of these together, you get the chassis, neuroptics, and systems. You're gonna have to build each one of these. Now, the the parts themselves are 12 hours, and then once you build all of these, you are then going to be able to click on that blueprint of Rhino himself, and then you can start that build, and that will take up to three days to finish. And then after that, you'll be able to claim them. Go back, and then once you're in this little section, your equipment, go here, and then you can finally select them once he pops up in this little area. So you should have that should be your second frame that you own if you didn't buy another frame. That is how you are able to get any frame you want by by farming them, doing these missions, so on and so forth. I do have some videos that explain how to get some frames in the game, so you can click on those that also tell you how to do the blueprint as well. But yeah, with every single frame in this game, you're gonna have to go there, click on the blueprint, make sure all of these are finished and you you select them or you equip them, I guess. And then once they're done, then you can finally build Rhino himself, then equip them later on after three days when he's finished building. All right, so you go through here, you do uh, the, the Mercury Junction. You get all of these things uh, on the left done. You defeat five Xmas enemies. You rescue a hostage on this specific mission. You complete 10 waves of defense. You defeat Jackal and Fossa, which I just showed you. And then you'll get Once Awake. Now, in order to access or start these quests, you can do it over there, but you can also go over here, go to quests. It's going to be the first thing that pops up and then type in, I mean, it should just pop up for you, but Once Awake. And then once you get Once Awake done, you have a whole whole now new set of quests that you're going to be able to do once you're here then you're going to go want to go back to earth and then do the mars junction now this is because the arch wing is something that you need in the game as well as void relic segments now what these do if you do not know the relics are the way to get prime stuff in the game so if you see all these people with prime frames, prime weapons, they're because of relics. So you're going to need this void relic segment. You're also going to want the quest, the archwing done because that is used for just about every other quest that you're going to find in this game as you go on uh, in, into the future of this game or further on into the path of completing it. Now, once you get all this done, you are now uh, introduced to relics. You now have the, the archwing. You should get that finished as soon as you can. So you, ha you have this. This is what your void relics are going to be, are going to look like. This is going to be new to you. I do have videos that tell you how to farm each relic, so you can look at those. Those will be linked in the description. However, you probably don't want to focus on that yet. So once you get to Mars and you do the Archwing quest, you can get another frame now. You're going to have to do this assassination mission again on Mars, and then of course you're going to have to do the path to get there. Go through here, go through here, go through here, and then do Mars. Now before I talk about this, or at least do the mission to show you how to kill this guy, there is Ceres Junction and Phobos Junction. Now if you hover over here to series junction no quests we go to the phobos question we have a quest stolen dreams that is another one that is mandatory that you're gonna have to do now some of them too you can get on earth in the strata relay there are two syndicates or syndicate areas for fractions i believe is what they're called now silver grove is one of them it's going to be in the new locus so it tells you but this one requires the second dream to be done and since you're new you're going to go to the second dream and it's going to require something else to be done and so on and so forth nata is one of them that needs to be done i believe for the second dream same thing with hidden messages I believe all this stuff needs to be completed before you you get on to like the main quest which is gonna be the war within second dream Nata uh, stolen dreams I believe is part of that main area as well voice prizes is the first one you ever do awakening as well you have all of those in order to get to the war really the sacrifice the new war these are all lore based same thing with angels of Xerman that was the, the new one that come out so that is all unique and new and that is really the base storyline and all these other quests are in order to get other frames like patient zero in order to unlock Mesa and the messages is from Mirage and all that other stuff chains of harrow that is a really really good quest uh i do recommend getting that as quick quickly as possible too i love this quest fan favorite really from what i i can remember obviously this is not my favorite quest but this is a really good quest nonetheless and it does offer a great frame which is harrow so now that we have quests done i'm going to show you how to get war done on mars Okay, and then once you arrive, what you really need to look forward to, look forward, what you really need to attack is going to be this thing on the back. Now, once my Helios Prime is done scanning him, you're going to see it's going like an orange here. Uh, even though you're seeing this say zero, that is still something that you need to aim for. Because uh, eventually what he will do is he'll uh, do this little thing where he catches on fire. Uh, and then once he does that, he's then going to become vulnerable in order for you to then officially kill him at the end. So 
this one is one of the more annoying ones just because he's facing you most of the time and you have the other random enemies that just keep shooting you all right and this is a little fire thing I'm talking about so he's gonna be vulnerable here in a second then you kill him simple as that all right now that we headed back to extraction Realize he drops Excalibur now. Excalibur is probably one that you may have already picked up, or the friend that you selected. So this may or may not be useful for you, but if you don't have him, you want him, this is how you get him. Pretty simple, pretty easy. And just to recap of what we just did, we went through Venus, Mercury, and Mars, and then we found out that Venus, you can do the assassination mission over and over again to then finally get all the parts in order to get a new frame, Rhino, and then you can go on Mars and do the assassination mission to get Excalibur if you did not select him. And with all of those, you can also do the junctions which unlock quests that are needed in this game in order to progress further across the storyline and also further along in the game in general in order to get more weapons and more frames. All right, and to the right will be a playlist of all the Warframe videos I've done on this channel, as well as a GTA 5 playlist, which is the other informational videos I do on this channel, as well as trying to branch out and do some more comedy aspect or humor aspect games. Games, uh, such as Apex, Valorant, uh, Phasmophobia, and so on. All right, and to the left will be my most recent video that I've uploaded on this channel. In the middle will be the subscribe button. All right, it's great to see all those uh, go up, the viewer count and the subscriber count, as well as the average go up as well. It's very cool to see, and it's very cool to motivate me to do all these videos as well. And with all that said, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.